17 of the fantasy football season. And if you made it to your championship, congratulations. And right here, I try to put your teams over the finish line with a few tight ends. I have a sleeper option. So time of recording this video, none of these plays have been placed on the safety or protocol list. The first tight end I have is a sleeper this week, Jeff Swain of the Tennessee Titans. So Swain has had a couple decent games this season here. I know the Titans really don't use the tight end that much in first or in Swain this season. But right now, with Julio Jones down on the COVID list and Westbrook Akeem, I think they're going to need the tight end more in this ball game. I know this ain't a great matchup for tight ends versus the Dolphins here in Week 17. That give up the 11th least amount of fantasy points to tight ends. But like I mentioned, it's probably going to be no Julio, no Westbrook Akeem. Now A.J. Brown came up on the injury report as well this week here. And once again, this Titan team decimated by injuries and protocol issues. So right here, it wouldn't be surprising to me if Swain has 20 or 30 yards and finds the end zone. Because like I mentioned, guys are going down like flies over here in Tennessee. And they want to get up there in the top two or three in the AFC right now. And every game counts. And also trying to get that number one seed counts for home field advantage, obviously, in the bye in the playoffs. So this week here, it wouldn't be surprising, like I mentioned... To see Swaim have more of an expanded role in the passing game, especially with the injuries and the protocols, and he's available in 100% of fantasy leagues. The next tight end I have is Sleepers Mo Alley Cox of the Indianapolis Colts. So, when this one, Carson Wentz, we don't know if he's going to be cleared in time to play because he's on the protocol list here. Mo Alley Cox, it's been an up and down season, but just like most tight ends this season, it's a crapshoot week to week. Well, most of these guys. So Mo Alley right now, he's available in 98% of fantasy leagues. In the last few weeks here, nothing to mention that he's done. Except week 16 at Arizona, he made a couple plays in that one. Two catches, 42 yards. So right here, if Carson Wentz don't play in this ball game, I think we could see whoever's going to start a quarterback for this Colt team use the tight end as their security blanket and best friend. And Cox, he's definitely a target in the red zone with his height. And his jump ball ability. So right now, he's got a good matchup here in Week 17 versus the Raiders. That give up the fourth most fantasy points to tight ends on the season. And he definitely could be a sleeper option at the tight end position. And the third and final tight end I have as a sleeper this week. James O'Shaughnessy. The Jacksonville Jaguars. I've mentioned them over the last couple weeks, O'Shaughnessy, as a decent sleeper option. I know he didn't practice early in the week now with a hip issue. But if he does go in this ball game, he's been putting up some decent numbers in PPR leagues. The last three weeks, week 14 at Tennessee, four catches, 21 yards. Week 15 versus the Houston Texans, four catches, 60 yards. And week 16 at the New York Jets, four catches, 49 yards. So this week here, not the greatest of matchups. No doubt about it that the Patriots have pretty much shut down most offenses this season. But right here, Trevor Lawrence, the whole season, if it was Dan Arnold or O'Shaughnessy now, the tight end's been his best friend. It's been his security blanket, and he's a rookie quarterback that obviously is going to rely on the tight end, especially with the lack of weapons as well in that Jacksonville passing game. Marvin Jones has been inconsistent. Chenault, he hasn't had a great year, and he's on the protocol list now. And also, DJ Chark was lost early in the season with a broken ankle. So right now, if O'Shaughnessy does play and get over the hip injury in this one, I think, once again, he could score anywhere from 8 to 10 fantasy points at the tight end position in PPR leagues. And that's a good sleeper option. So that's a few ends I have as sleepers here for week 17 of the fantasy football season.